We can talk about that. We can talk about that in Darksiders. Hello and welcome. This is not the voice I will be using, but I'm stuck on it for a moment because I want to hype myself up. Let's what? hear your best proper voice you can pull off. A proper voice? That's not proper enough. I need I need to hear mustache curl. A mustache curl. That's good. That's better. <laughs> for goodness. We are going to be playing on normal difficulty. <laughs> This is an old-timey game, so we should speak in an old-timey voice, of course. Uh, actually, I think it's supposed to be somewhat futuristic. It's more than five years old at this point, therefore it's ancient. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Meteors. Of course. Come on, move it. Might not be a way to read. I mean, that's one way to have an apocalypse. It's there not we go. something we necessarily have a defense against. I mean, yeah, oh, no, no, absolutely. No, is that Kansas City? That's every city. <laughs> Oh, the meteors are demons. Of course. galaxy far far away Wait, that guy was impaled on his weapon or something yeah no the demon had stabbed him before they landed or was stabbing him as they landed Whoa. there's the wilhelm scream yep I've noticed I've noticed it in multiple THQ games. I wonder I wonder if it was like an agreed upon thing to just include it. Cause it was in red like the beginning of Red Faction Gorilla as well, like right away. For a game as old as it is, these cutscenes look real nice. These cutscenes are awesome. Yeah. You can see Joe Madura's influence in games. The sword that War has on his back and the gauntlet are both actually from um, are both actually from his uh, are both from his Battle Chasers series, and he oh. just decided to put them both into this character <laughs> as features. Wait, 
I thought that Battle Chasers. Battle came Chasers after this. was a comic in the nineties. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, interesting. I always, I always wondered about that when someone has personal projects and then they're tasked with doing concept art for a game or well, something. Isn't it at all possible that you accidentally the studio start to head. Like, weave your ideas and oh, so he? Yeah. Who cares? Made it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. he, he can do whatever he wants. Oof, this guy's shoulders are all horns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Press I mean, he's B a horny when devil. you see B to perform a spectacular finishing move. Yep. Wait, is... you took on the form of the demon? Yeah, so we've got, like, chaos form. Normally, it's got, like, a short duration to it, but I can just keep it going as long as I want. At least in this game. It's not gonna last. I think you did not succeed in what saving, saving the human. The humans don't get saved in this game. No, I know. This is this is not a war. Doesn't save people. War at best avenges them. At worst, probably kills them in collateral damage. Well, in this it would be collateral damage because it seems like the. Demons and the angels are at Hello, it again. Oh, human! You are underfoot. Why are you? Why are you running Judgment straight down the street? But yeah, interestingly enough, I forget about I forgot about this. But the angels are just straight up also kind of bad guys in this game. Well, so one thing I was yield. actually reading about the other day was the premise of affably evil demons versus sort of tyrannically uh, judgmental Human. Oh, uh, you can angels. Kill people. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if they... What is happening? I believe the voice for war is the same voice for Illidan, by the way. I wouldn't be surprised. He, he, he definitely plays those characters well, the God. sort of gruff, the tortured souls. The disparity between Big Rock Man and war, and then just New York... Diasami? Oh. Cupo? Cupo! Swivvies! Eaten too! Eaten again! Swivvies! Hakama! Reflex. Reflex! Net! Weapons of law! Let's actually look You're at these gonna, for a second. While, while that golem Dude, is destroying the Dude, I never get to look at the these. And yeah! Kind of cool. Silver, Silverback, Summer 2010! Silverback? What is that? A movie about a a guy that becomes a gorilla? G-Net. T-Bell. J. Rolani. I don't know. That one. Junk. Junk. It, it sounds like a like army H brand. H ball law, winner of nine awards. Capo. Again. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, this mm, might not actually be Humans are New York. intriguing. It is too. It is you know unfortunate that their world is coming to that. I I will not lift a finger to stop it. Yeah. Lychees. Is that like lychee? Yeah, lychee. The best. Oh, yep. uh -huh, best Chinese. Lickies? Question mark. Don't want to question it too much. Reflex is apparently something to do with lady's legs. What? <laughs> no. Watch the no 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 no. Look at it. Reflex. Lady's legs. Maybe maybe it's. Watch these shoes. scantily clad women play dodgeball. That's just the movie. That's that's it. It's quite wholesome, not terribly weird. Please watch the movie. Oh god, the market's crashing as we speak. But yeah, no. I guess we should probably kind of intro this a little bit and talk about this because we're we're just kind of going commentary time now. And yeah, so we should probably talk about this. is going to be coming out this year, and yeah. we've played through what was it? Darksiders one back in we've college. We played through Darksiders half, one, yeah. And half of like Darksiders two. Pretty we much as soon as we started dating, I was just like, hey, wait, no, 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 no. We played this when we were juniors. Because I we played this in the fall, and we'd already been dating enough that you'd uh, you would sleep over at my place. Hey. No, like you'd sleep on my couch, and you weren't comfortable enough doing that until like at least a couple months in. And like this is definitely like fall fall. We were uh, definitely not doing that. I don't like that term. You slept on my couch. What am I supposed to say? Napping, I guess. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we we played through uh, all of Darksiders one, or I did. You were kind of asleep for half of it, because uh, it it does have some kind of boring collectible 
hunting, which I I adore in games, but Shell was kind of decidedly less interested in. Okay. Wait, wait, what? No, it was because you're playing these games at probably two o'clock are... in the morning. Yeah. I I knew you in college. You would take any opportunity to fall asleep on that couch. Nine o'clock, five o'clock. We day, had really night, awkward sun. schedules. Yeah, we did. And it was awful. We were constantly doing homework at odd hours. But uh, so yeah, uh, more or less played through the entirety of the first first game. Hundred percented it, in fact. I think not all the achievements, but oh, oh, they're gone. Too bad. Uh, but you know I. Jump onto horizontal pipes and wires to grab and traverse them. Right, I forgot he can do this. This looks really suit, <laughs> really stupid. Uh, but so then we they started- They really like massive feet, don't they? They do, yeah. War is a bulky dude. Death is a lot less bulky. Well, that's because he's a slightly emaciated. I'm actually really looking forward to- I, I know that we were just talking about how it's cool that the third game is coming out and that one's- the one that features the sole female member of the Four Horsemen Fury. I suppose they changed it from, like, Famine to Fury. Because well, yeah, famine because isn't really Pestilence and Famine are not exactly fun to watch. Like, War <laughs> and Death. War and okay, death those cool. thematically work for, like, a spectacle fighter puzzle-solving <laughs> game. But, like, so skinny guy that hasn't eaten in a while and sick dude. Eh. I, yeah, so they changed it to Fury and Strife, I think in the concept art, but Strife looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, Bo so both I, Fury I, and Strife look awesome. I'm kind of looking forward. But uh, the interesting thing I found about Strife was that he was sort of like a pistolier. Yeah. I People With thought he was actually going to be the... I think originally he might have supposed to be the... He, he was supposed to be the third one. Yeah, but it makes uh, sense the that they game. have the have Fury as the third one. Yeah. Because then they would have already had two guys out of the way. I'm just curious if they're going to the make. Uh, I'm just curious if they're going to make it a third-person shooter. The next. Or game. is it going to be? Do you know what would be really cool? And I haven't seen this in games very often. A sort of like. What would you call it? Gunkata, gun fu. Uh, sort of where you're like. Kind Where of you're hitting. doing flips and you're just aiming at targets and put you, put you Yeah, they and... tried doing that in uh, the Deadpool game and it was bad. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the only game that I can safely say that probably worked in was Metal Gear Rising and actually no Bayonetta. Bayonetta would be one. Yeah, I would assume that Bayonetta would have that. But yeah, so we played through the first one to completion, and then started the second, but it was really long, and I didn't have a whole lot of, like, there motivation were a lot of quiet to do moments so. Too. You would finish things, and then you'd come back to it Giantville. It was a lot of traveling. And by Giantville, I think they were the caretakers? Well, that was only in the first world. There were multiple worlds. We got to the, the underworld kind of area. I oh. think I. Yeah. Oh. You're supposed to course. grab that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not quite used to traversing pipes and lines with. Uh, wow, characters. he makes cars look puny. Yep. No, he's a, he is not human. His movement feels really like... Do you know what's interesting? Just how there's a lot of thematic similarities between Diablo angels and these angels. When it comes to their wings not necessarily being real wings, but being... Kind I mean, of these, these like, are like mecha wings, glowy, like ephemeral, uh, ephemeral wings. Yeah. Yeah. And no, the ones I absolutely in love are this. Light uh, wings, like they're just like tendrils. I absolutely love this kind of por portrayal of angels. You know, heavily armored kind of magic Old. people, as opposed to the yeah. like, what the? Oh. You used a car. Okay. It's bat battle time. We will not yield. I do not know how to throw this. That's how I throw it. Okay, cool. Hurts a bit, but whatever. Um, yeah. So now, because Dark Sol Darksiders 3, I was about to say Dark Souls 3, Darksiders 3 is coming out, we're doing a full series. Mm -hmm. And we should be done with it just in time. I always, you know how this has the four horsemen and then obviously the, oh. the themes of angels and demons and stuff? You were hoping for a co-op game, is that what you're gonna say? Or hello? Wait, what? Uh, 
Uh, you got something on your face. Now, those look like real wings, actually. Yeah. Impossible. Abaddon. What is this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be. The, the final seal. My lord! How did this happen? Was not broken. Abaddon! <sighs> what in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. Yeah, the voice acting is great. Yep, cutscenes. No, it doesn't seem to belong in the in the cutscenes, though. Do you notice how um, in modern games they tend to have a little bit of the atmosphere or like what would you call it? Distance. Do you understand what I'm getting at? Yeah. Where if a character is farther away, they sound farther away, and uh, do you understand what I'm getting at? Yeah, the placement feels kind of weird. And I don't really... I don't know. Uh, it's definitely one of those where, like, this was a 2010 game. <laughs> no, I mean... Still great, but... I was just like, wow. They sound like they're right next to you. They do. <laughs> I don't actually know if I'm... No, they were saying that the guy. seventh seal hadn't been... Hadn't been sundered, so... This shouldn't be happening. Unfortunately, we don't actually get to beat this guy yet, so it's kind of one of those where you just kind of fight him for a while. And I believe they named that female character Uriel, which is interesting because early oh, Uriel I can just lock on. is one of the Oracle. archangels. Are you familiar with many of the like archangels and stuff? Not really. Like Michael. I Gabriel, so I've read like a Asriel. lot of the Old Testament and like half of them are like not even mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like biblical lore is very confusingly placed. I don't actually know what he's well, doing. Well, that was this. another thing I was wanting to. Uh, I, this whole thing would not stick yeah. together. Before the cutscene that I was uh, that we were interrupted by, I was asking what your perspective would be on, you know, if historical like ancestors, like if members of history that actually worshipped or at least believed in the seven, ho uh, the four horsemen, and whatnot. If they were to actually witness people playing video games about them, what would they think? Sacrilege! <laughs> Sacrilege! And yet... Demons! And yet, Demons in the box! Oh, hello. And yet people actually, you know, use angels and demons frequently enough. No? <laughs> the law has been broken. And so have you, horsemen. <laughs> of men, lords of heaven, or the dregs of hell. 
all upon the earth will be judged, and the pact forged anew. You forget your post, horsemen. You forget the law. No call was given, yet the destroyer marched, and there you were found, under his black banner, if the claims are true. To hell with your claims! The seals were broken! I was summoned! Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. You raided the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me! Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth, but you will be watched. Come forth. Nice to see the lion from Latin getting more work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dumb. What's this over here? So Chaos Eater. The angry blade thirsts for destruction. Was that actually Mark Hamill? It sounded like Mark Hamill, but I never know if it is or just to sound alike. We'll have to look it up. It's probably another guy, but... Yeah, you want to look up the voice acting cast? Because they... They grabbed, or they hired a bunch of, like, decent people. I mean, can you in this? Okay. Maybe? Then I can look it's, for it. It's the, the I know bottom it's, button. I know it's the usual, but... I just never know if it's password. Well, not password, but fingerprint protected. Okay. So harnessing the power of Chaos Eater to attack summons is deadly blades. Cool. Uh, let's see. It's tutorializing this. Passive abilities. Okay, mapping consumables and wraths. Select a wrath power or consumable hey, item. Hey, left bumper. Mark Hamill is is the watcher. So creepy dude with the six yeah, eyes. Yeah, I figured as much. Troy Baker is Abaddon. will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Yeah, Liam O'Brien's war. Yeah, I figured it was Mark Hamill, but I always want to check. Mark Hamill is the, such an underrated voice actor. The woman that voices actor. Uriel is, is named Moon Bloodgood? <laughs> like, that's her name. Seek the demon Fulgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. 
The Council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the Destroyer's favor. Valgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. <laughs> Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. I really like his blinks. Yeah, how all the different eyes... In sequence? Blink, yeah. yeah. I always like creatures with multiple eyes. Well, multiple pairs, I suppose I should say. Because we have multiple, just not more than two. Yep. <laughs> wow. Did that corpse look like it was old or just... Oh, yeah. No. Uh... How long has it been? It's Ugh. like a hundred something years. I think those actually like get up and fight you. Oh, so they're zombified? Yeah. War can grab and move along most edges. Ledges. Nope, not that ledge. Hey, isn't that cool that ledge has edge in it? Huh. Huh? It, it's, a, it's a lateral Oh, ledge. I see. It's these. Get it? Yes, the lateral I, edge I, I do ledge. get it. Oh, I forgot how fast he moves along these. Oh, so this is the big reveal. Of zombies. Here comes the welcome party. War, why don't you introduce yourself? I like it how they still have tasteful pants. Mm. Or skirts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, is that Mark Hamill? Yes, yes! It is. Now, I find it interesting that he's the Navi character. Haven't you noticed that uh, Navi characters in games have gone from being cutesy and small to being sort of menacing and jeering? Uh, I think it depends on the to tone of the game. I mean, how weird and awkward would it have been if, um... Okay, that's not it. Uh, how, how weird how and awkward word would it have been if what? Sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to use my special special moves. Uh, if it had been somebody friendly, like, it would not have matched this game in the no, slightest. No. I mean, the reason why the Watcher is there is to be your retainer. So, of course, he has to be Hi, I'm your friendly disembodied voice that's going to help you through this game. <laughs> doesn't I mean, make any sense. So, there's Ooh, gross. the Navis, the Midnas, the Cortanas, the Watcher. Over here! Like, what, what other Actually, fuckers? everybody in the Darksiders universe is a jerk. Mm, mm hmm Okay, Gauntlet Glow. Uh, Where's Gauntlet Glow's oh, near Oh, near something. interactable objects. Oh, okay. Like doors and chests It looks like they're gathering whatnot. spirits. Yeah. So blue souls are our currency in this game? I'm... How do I do dash again? That's how I dash. Okay. Um... But yeah, so near this, kind of glows a little bit, I think. No. It looks a little stuck. Huh. You might want to try opening it up. 
I just wanted to see why it was telling me to telling me it was glowing because it's not glowing. Ah, whatever. Or maybe it, you have to be like directly next to that. Well, there goes the oh, elevator. That was fast. I really wish this game had not been. Um, I really wish this game had not been set on like post-apocalyptic Earth. I know it kind of fits with the story, but it's such a Earth is such a boring setting Dark in a video game. Darksiders 2 is Fantasyland. Oh. From what I recall. Uh, it's a Hulk and it's flaming. Yeah. They also explode. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the uh, the gameplay on this one. Oh. Well, I'm not actually sure how I get my this? super seems rather grand. Super meter back. Uh, I think we're in a big hotel. Yeah, I was thinking hotel, but. The only really awesome hotel I'd ever been in, oh, I think it was down south. Imagine a hotel where all of the rooms are around in a big circle that goes up several stories to a skylight, and everything down below is a series of waterfalls and restaurants. Uh... I mean, I've been to one or two, like, super fancy hotels. I've seen that before. Oh, you're probably thinking of the, the Gaylord Hotel in, um, in DC. No, because that's the one that we went to for uh, Katsukan. Yeah. Right? No, no, this was something else. This oh, was okay. in a different state, and it was very spherical. Well, not spherical, uh, cylindrical, as opposed to that, which was very square. My, uh... I guess not kind of in the same vein. When my friend was moving from one house to another in uh, in California, they stayed at a hotel for a week. And, uh... And it was one of those, like, thousand dollars a night kind of hotels, because both of his parents are lawyers and could afford it, and yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. And so we went to go visit him for the day, and it was like, the entire lobby was a pool. Mm-hmm. And you, like, kind of walked around the whole thing. And, I don't know, it was just... <laughs> Monkey man! <laughs> Wee! People are saying they hope Dark Souls 3 is going to be multi... Uh, Dark Souls, Dark Siders 3 is going to be multiplayer. I doubt it ever will be. Uh. Um, so, uh, Dark Siders 3 is being made by a bunch of ex-Vigil devs, but not all of them. Because a lot of the, uh, a lot of THQ, the... THQ, sort of. Yeah, so, sort of. I guess, to give some history for this game. So this is made by Joe Madura, who I was kind of talking about. Who's a famous, uh, comic book illustrator, colorist, whatever. He does really nice stuff. Yeah, we have lot... the concept art book for Darksiders, too. It's awesome. Yep. I would have gotten the one for, uh, Darksiders 1, but apparently the binding is even worse than the Darksiders 2 one, which is kind of sad. Mm. Um, and I have the Battle Chasers art book, if you ever want it. It's just a PDF, unfortunately. They no, didn't do a print. tangible books only. I prefer archaic means of. I do too, but imagery. like Battle Chasers is very much like an indie, uh, like an indie mm -hmm. project. So it kind of it's fine. Um, but yeah, so this was made by Vigil Entertainment. I don't know if Vigil had ever made a game before Dark Darksiders. Uh, but it was published. Uh, Spearheaded largely by Joe Madura and a couple other people. And, um, published by THQ. And they kind of, like, owned the studio. And, uh, it, the game released to relatively middling reviews. A lot of people were like, couldn't decide if it wanted to be God of War or Zelda. And I was like, but I like that kind of mix. Oh well. Um, but so it got kind of middling reviews, but it was enough... It was enough that, uh... I need to work on dodging. <laughs> I don't know if I can block yet. Because, yeah, I'm trying to, like, dodge around. But it's not working as hot as I want it to. I think I also have a heal. But, yeah, if you notice, that guy kind of does the... Uh... So what are you playing this on? Uh, PC. You're playing it on PC? Yep. Okay. I have I have it on uh actually I believe I have it on every console. Digital downloads as opposed to tangible discs and whatnot? Uh yeah, so they pre 
they practically handed this out. I've gotten. Oh, I think because it, of Darksiders Three. Well, not even Darksiders Three. So, uh, I, to go back to it, uh, back to story time, maybe. Uh, so Darksiders One got middling reviews, but is enough to come up with the sequel. Sequel was. I don't actually know if people like the sequel better or not. I now, personally did. If this was the Force Unleashed, you would have needed to have done a bunch of button combos Ugh. in order to finish that guy off. Uh, we'll get there. Um, ah. But yeah, so oh, so Dark uh, Darksiders 2 comes out and kind of more of the same. And then THQ goes under before they can uh, make uh, Darksiders 3. Uh, studio dissolves. It was kind of in limbo for a while, actually. Cause now, wasn't it because THQ had some precarious investments in, yeah, like, a sports Yeah, they did some really something? stupid things with, uh, effectively, they went all in on an art, like, a physical, like, art tablet for the Wii. Oh. And it did really well. So they doubled down and put it on every other platform. And no one bought it because every... The Is only it? target the target audience was kids, and most of the kids were just playing it on the Wii at the time. And this is right as the console generation was ending, too. So then people weren't going to continue with the Wii. It was sort of like how in the last years of the Wii, there were all of those attempts by Xbox and PlayStation to have... Their own motion controls, yeah. And uh, those little balancing boards for yoga or whatever they do, you know? Yep. The crossroads. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then, the Third Kingdom is lost. I almost didn't hear you coming. Vogrum. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. 